everybody. Welcome to Winnipeg, Manitoba. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. The EA Sports crew is in place. The players are ready to go. What's the message here, Ray? I don't know that there can be a message other than it's so obvious. If you're the team in the lead, it's a chance to stretch the series. If you're the team behind, you got to close that gap. Critical game. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Oh, he'll feel that one. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Jets have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Shifley's dragging it along the line. Receives the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Shifley. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. And they can't convert to the play. And he denied that opportunity. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Winnipeg's won the faceoff. Not able to connect. Can't keep a hold of it. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Puck scooped up by Horvath. Moves along the boards with some purpose. The Jets get a hold of it. With some open space at center. Puck picked up by Line. Sends the pass down low. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They've got the defense outnumbered. A chance in front! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Hillebuck. Moves the puck. Stastny's got it in the defensive end. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big save. The Jets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Tries it to the crease. He scores! The big man, Patrick Laine, delivers again. It's a bad decision by the other team as they get caught in an odd man rush. But they don't make any mistake. This is a beauty. Winnipeg's got a quick goal here early in this first period, and with it, a different energy in this crowd. Everybody gets ramped up a little bit. You score early, you hope you can. Now you have, you go get another. Puck dumped in. The Canucks have it behind the cage. Quick pass over to Bertanen. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Made the stop on the play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Winnipeg's ahead, 1-0. The Jets win it. And now it's grabbed by Bullia. Made the save on the play. And another stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. hopefully has been taking dangerous chances and throwing them to the curve all night. Here's another one. Winnipeg's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Slides the puck over. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Works it across to Polia. Sends a pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick pass to Lewis. Gets in front of it. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Can't maintain possession after that hit. 
Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Perot's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. You kind of stop. Man advice, it's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Down one, a chance to tie on the power play. What a great chance for them here. But you can't stress, you have to be confident and aggressive, but don't force anything. 24 seconds. The Jets have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Horvath's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Denies him in front. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Moves it around along the half wall. Just a simple save by Hellebuck. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 1-0 the score. Winnipeg's won the draw. Trying to clear. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people out there. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Thunderous use of the body on the play. And manages to clear the zone. Slides the puck across to Horvath. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. With possession along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Here's a shot. And he comes up with it. The Jets' physicality has controlled this game. They've been far more aggressive. And as a result, they've got the lead. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Jets win the draw. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. On the attack along the boards. Taken by Bertanen. Easy peasy right there by Hellebuck. Here he is in front. Let's it go from the slot. Denies him again. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Hellebuck's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Penalty expires with the one goal lead still intact. Nice job by the penalty killers. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Beagles won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. That's off a stick. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Dumps it in. Picked up along the wall by Beagle. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Shifley's gaining momentum. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Beagle. Way too much congestion blocks that. They go on the attack through center. Dumps it into the other end. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. The Canucks have it against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Jets have it in the offensive end. Moves it to Wheeler. Slides the puck down low. Right to the middle! Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Wheeler. Here's a move in tight. Stopped by the goaltender. And that's blocked. Takes the feed, moving in. Manages to hang on. Taken along the wall by Bullia. Winnipeg's got the puck at the defensive end. Quick feed to Bullia. A chance from along the wall! And he stands tall in goal! Now 
we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalie gets the blocker up to make the save. Past the midway mark in this period, the Jets have taken a 1-0 lead. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Besser. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Besser. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Miller. Great chance in front, and that's picked off. The Jets are in transition. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Pedersen's got it in the offensive zone. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Quick pass to Kopp. Here comes the sentence. Pedersen's been nabbed for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Winnipeg sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Now the power play guys are hungry and over the boards quickly. This is their first power play tonight. Of course, it starts with a face-off in the offensive zone. The Canucks are on the attack. Here's a chance right in the slot. Oh, that's a huge stop by Hillebuck. But he came out and challenged a good save. Takes the feed. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The setters will glide into the dot. The Jets win it. Puck grabbed by Pionk. Sabres got a transition gale shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. And they're off to the wrist puck. Scrum moves along the boards. Beagle Pegs gain possession along the boards. Vancouver's got possession here in the neutral zone. Picked up along the boards by Shifley. Look out! And that one's broken up. Great block there. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Holpe. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Up, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Backhander in front. He scores! Uh, the power play comes through, they move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. The goalie's not going to catch this. The pass from behind the net's on the tape, one-timed into the cage before he can really get turned around. The Jets have now widened the gap to a two-goal lead. Hard not to breathe a little easier now. It's even harder to stay focused, and that's what they need to do, James, to get this to the intermission. Scored on the power play. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. The Jets played along the wing. Shot! Scores! That's three unanswered now. Oh, there seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. More than half the period has expired. The Jets have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Winnipeg's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Assisted by number Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Puck scooped up by Perot. The Jets take it across the blue line. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Working the puck up inside their own end. Takes the pass. Puts it up front. Wrists one. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Hillebuck. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. That pass goes a little sideways. And a strong effort on that play. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he's ridden off the puck. Battle along the boards. 
for 10 and's got the puck in his own zone. A chance on goal. Makes the save. Lowry's got it along the boards. Pucks it in deep and they'll make a change. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Wow. He scores his first career playoff goal. Different level of excitement, James. You score in the regular season, that's one thing. You get another one in the playoffs, and you are pumped. It'd be pretty hard to do this better than they did on the odd man rush. They move the puck, they move the defender out of the way, and then two passes and it's in the net. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Vancouver still down by two goals in this one. Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And now he angles it across to Stastny. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. His reflex is on display tonight. Big stop by the keeper. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Save made by the goalie. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Hellebuck's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. Nice job tying up his opponent. Tries to get the puck over to Wheeler. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Shifley's lugging the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Here's a short pass to Shifley. And that goes off the iron and stays out. Winnipeg's lead does not change. It just needed a bounce there as this puck hits the post and stays out. Taken by Morrissey. Moves it to Ehlers. Sends it in deep. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Winnipeg's in now. Right in the slot. Let's the wrister fly. They score! The true bar strong and free tonight in Winnipeg. Well, the only way he's stopping this one is if it hits him. As soon as the shooter went to shoot it, the goaltender dropped into the butterfly. He's looking around that traffic, hoping he can find it. In the final moments of this period, Winnipeg's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Canucks looking against the half wall. And there's the save. Assisted by number 26, Blake Wheeler. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 17 seconds. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. The Canucks have it against the wall. Nice pass. And that goes off a player. Scooped up along the wall by Perot. The first period in the books and not a moment too soon. What a performance, at least at one end. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during gameplay and wait for a break in the action to lead or return to your seat. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. 
Fury is set to get underway. It was a disaster first. Here we go. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Jets sure were ready to start in that first period. They had the majority of possession and are pretty well in control of this game now. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Jets lead it 4-1. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. Passes over to Pedersen. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Still keeps a hold of it. That goes off a twig. Scrum along the boards. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And that one's stopped. Hellebuck's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Scores! Well, I guess they're back in it a little bit here. They still trail by two. They're going to really have to get after it to get themselves a real chance. Oh, the defensive team is dog-tired. Their tongues are hanging out of their mouth here. They just got outworked onto the puck, and eventually they give up the goal. Vancouver's still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Connor with the stop. Takes the feed from the wing. Dumps it in. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Winnipeg's across the blue line. Puck picked up by Pearson. From the left wing, takes the feed. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Picked up along the wall by Stastny. Pionk's caught with the hook and the official saw it. Play is stopped and here's the official call. Pretty easy call to make, hooking right here. Well, he gets a stick around his waist, then he stops skating. It's almost like he's advertising for the penalty. The Jets once again send out their power play unit. Time to get back to work on a power play that's already scored tonight. Don't change much. Keep working away in the same manner. Flash from the point! Oh, what a stop by Holby! Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Couldn't connect on that pass. Moss got the puck along the wing. Can't keep a hold of it. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Puck moved over to Kopp. And now it's grabbed by Perot. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Comes up with the stop. Even though that puck is delivered with great velocity, that looks like a pretty easy stop for the goalie to make. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Jets have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Gets a hold of the puck. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. They get it out of the defensive end. Winnipeg's got it from behind the net. Handles the puck. Quick feed to Shifley. The Canucks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Through center. Puck grabbed by Roussel. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that slides right out to center ice. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And they manage to clear it. Quick pass to Sutter. And now he moves it quickly to Rissell. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. 
Oh, he almost put him through the boards. The Canucks take possession here in the open ice. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. We'll get a look at that crushing hit again. Right along the board, he finishes right through the player. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, we've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Horvath's won the draw. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. He's got a stab, denies him. How did he keep that out? Unreal reflexes. That was a good move, but the goalie reacts quickly and turns it away. Winnipeg's won the faceoff. And that one's broken up. Here's a short pass to Pedersen. Taken along the wall by DeMello. And he moves it up to Lewis. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Thompson. Moves the puck along the half wall. Pass back to the point. Moves it quickly over to DeMello. Here's a shot. Gives them nothing in front. Jostles the puck loose. Sends the pass over. Passes it to Pedersen. Here's a shot. S scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Vancouver's back to center ice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. And we'll get a stoppage on the ice as the puck goes out of play. Rock Besser, time of the goal, 7 minutes, 11 seconds. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Canucks have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Quick feed to Appleton. Couldn't find the intended target. Strong defensive effort. Straight up the middle, here they come. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Mott's taking it from his own end. Grabbed along the boards by Lowry. Puck scooped up by Beagle. Vancouver's on the attack. With the blast! Huge stop by Hellebuck. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Mott. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Taken by Appleton. Grabs the puck. Can't catch up to the pass. With the stop. Puck picked up by Lowry. Quick pass to Appleton. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Pass it up ahead. It's a two-on-one. Slides it across. Here's a chance right in front. Turns it away. Another stop by the goaltender. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Winnipeg's on the attack. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Hellebuck's able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a stick save on it. Vancouver's had a lot of good looks on net, but they continue to trail here in the second. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. The Jets gain possession along the wall, and he regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Wheeler. The Jets take it along the wall. The Canucks have the puck now. Here they come up along the wing. Pumps the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Schmidt. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And that one's picked off. Vancouver's moving it up the ice. Wax it into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Trying to get back on the attack now. You'll need more than that to beat him. Past the 
midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. It's a one-goal game here. 4-3 is where we sit. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. Morrissey's picking up steam. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Shot right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. The centerman glide into position. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Jets have it against the wall. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Winnipeg's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Slides it across to Kopp. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Denied by the goaltender. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. And that one's blocked! Grabs the puck here in their own end. Schmidt's swooping in on the attack. Nice poke check. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Vancouver's penalty killers get a hold of it. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Moves it to Perot. Nice zone entry from the right side. To his teammate. Huge stick save by the goaltender. Puck slid down the ice. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Now a quick pass to Stastny. Ehlers setting up against the wall. Centering pass. And that's broken up. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Gets it out of his own end. The Jets have it now. Moves the puck across to Ehlers. He got hammered. Yeah, did he ever. Now he's got to go pick up his stick. Pretty tough to play the rest of the game without one of those. Slides the puck across to Shifley. Ehlers benefits from some quick work from the trainers. They get him a new stick. Passes right to the front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Vancouver's looking to break out. And he slides it quickly to Pearson. Here's an odd man rush. Snapper from the slot. Oh, and another big stop. Thompson's moving it ahead. Pokes the puck away. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Moved into the middle. Moves it quickly over to Morrissey. Gains the zone through the middle. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a one goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Pedersen's won the draw here in the open ice. Quick feed to Miller. Rips it on net, and he says no. They fight for it along the boards. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Off his stick, makes the save. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Picked up along the boards by Besser. Miller's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. And they can't connect. Into the offensive end now. Jabs the puck away. Takes the feed. Nothing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Receives the pass. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Besser's got it along the wing. Centering pass. Oh, 
a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Nice zone entry from the left. Quick pass to Lewis. Stones him in front. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Pearson. Maintains possession. Let's it fly! Flies over the net! I think he's trying to be too perfect. Get it on goal. Oh, he's going to be feeling the regret on that one, though, yeah, right? You don't get many chances, and this one's not even a scoring chance because he doesn't hit the net. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Moves it to, well, that'll get a response. They're gonna go! Yeah, he's not gonna have a choice here. He's been running around a little bit, been getting a little chippy, and now he's gonna have to drop the mitts and answer for it. That's a clear winner right there. The Jets and their fans are pretty excited about the way that fight went. Now we'll see if they can take advantage of the momentum. I think they found the tooth that was lost, and both teams now back inside the faceoff circle. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Adler. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Puts it to the front of the net, from the slot. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. The Canucks have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. Beagles won the draw. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Sends a pass over. Big play inside the defensive zone. Here's a shot! What a stop! Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our Shoot to Win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. Don't go anywhere, third period is just around the corner. injury is going to keep him out for the rest of the evening. He will not return. I've just been given the note. Thanks for the update, Ray. We'll see what sort of wrench that throws into plans here now. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Winnipeg's got a lead in this game, which is probably a last shot win sort of thing. Man, it's been out of control for two periods. I love it. Quick feed to Shifley. Feeds the puck across to Morrissey. Solid check to slow him down. And now it's over to Pedersen. They've got numbers. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Couldn't complete the play. The Jets played along the boards. Here's a chance. Denied by the goaltender. Pokes it away in his own end. Battling for it along the boards. And it's kicked away. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Feeds it on over to Miller. The Canucks carry it along the wall and makes the save. Quick pass to Miller. Great reflexes, another save. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Strong defensive effort. Unleashes a cannon. Fearless. 
totally fearless on the block. Rister, stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. The Canucks have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. The Canucks gain possession along the wall, and they fail to go take to take. Goes right to the crease! Oh, he got all of that with the blocker by Hillebuck. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Nice bank pass off the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Makes his presence known on the ice. Puppy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Off the try and a nice job locking up his opponent. Denies him, he got all of it. Nothing doing on that. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Winnipeg's got it behind the net. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Picked up along the wall by Vertanen. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Taken by Bullia. No one home on that play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he passes it up ahead to Rissell. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Thompson. Pass across to Lewis. Here's a shot. Oh, just wide. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's a short pass to Mott. Hangs onto the puck and makes the save. Taken along the wall by Mott. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Moves it to Wheeler. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Grabbed along the boards by Sutter. Now he slides it up to Pearson. All alone! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. And that banks off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Bolia. And he slides it quickly to Connor. Moves the puck. Takes the feed. Look out, a two-on-one. Chance right in front. Stick save and a beaut by Hillebuck. Well, the goalie had time to square up as that slap shot takes a little bit of time to set up, but it's a hard one. He makes the stop anyway. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Winnipeg's clinging to this 4-3 lead. Too many bodies in the way. The Jets have it against the wall. Quick feed to Lowry. Puck sent over to Appleton. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And it's a quick pass to Rissell. Excellent stick work on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Lowry. The Jets move it in. Here they are on the attack. Snaps it on net. Blocked in traffic. Fantastic save. Hope he's sharp to make that stop. Picked up along the boards by Cop. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Cop. Can't connect. Quick pass to Cop. Takes the feet at the back end. Great save by Hopi. making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. Vancouver's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. 
The Jets win the faceoff. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Tries it to the crease. Playing big in the moment there. Centering pass. And just out of arm's reach on the play. Centering pass. He gets that one too. Holtby's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. Scrum along the boards. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And that pass goes awry. The Canucks have it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Picked up along the wall by Pionk. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Directed over to Pionk. Through center along the wing. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Big save. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Can't find his man. Taken along the wall by Pionk. Moves it over to Forbort. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Pionk. Handles the pass from the right side. Great poise here as he gets it back. Stays with it. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Move to the middle, denies him in front. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Hope meets the last line of defense and he has to come up big for his team again. The two-on-one yields a really good chance, but a better stop. Past the halfway mark of this period, this one has been a good back-and-forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. Moves it to Sutter. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Hillebuck. Moves the puck to Perot. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Moves it quickly over to Beagle. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. On oh, the doorstep, oh, it's in the back of the net, they score! Doesn't take them very long either with the delayed penalty. They're able to score. It nullifies their power play, but it doesn't really matter. He's tight to the net, he doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Vancouver's heart on full display here in the later stages of this third period with that big goal. Never back down, kept pushing, finally even this game up. Now hopefully can find the winner. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Scrum ensues along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And that one's turned away. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Canucks win the draw. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Nice poke check. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Pushes it across to Rissell. Coughs it up at center. Wheeler's got it in the offensive zone. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Denies him on the play. Takes the feed from the left side. Fails to find the open man. Good defensive effort to poke it away. From one point man to another. Oh, he got all of that with a blocker. What a stop by Hillebuck. High quality chance, high quality save. Puck grabbed by Morrissey. Moves it around along the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. That pass doesn't go. The Jets have it from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Quick feed to Appleton. Winnipeg's moving it along the wing. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Canucks will play the puck from behind the net. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Couldn't complete the play. 
Morrissey's got it in the defensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Appleton. Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. He steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. The Canucks send their man advantage unit out once more. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Puck clear from the defensive end. From the left side, takes it at center. Quick pass to Bolia. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Oh, what a stop by Holpe. Takes a shot. There's another stop. Slides the puck across to Miller. Here's a short pass to Horvath. Slides the puck over. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Pass right on the doorstep. Comes up with a monster save in front. Sharp reaction save. Man, he got rid of that puck in a hurry. But the goaltender was even better. The glove makes the nice stop. A critical draw here. The Canucks win the draw. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Winnipeg's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Vertanen. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. The Canucks will play it against the boards. Winnipeg's got the puck behind the net. And a successful clearing attempt. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Besser. Couldn't make that one happen. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. And now he moves it to Horvath. And a huge opportunity is wasted by the power play unit here as both teams are back at even strength. Sometimes a power play is more critical than others. Lots of pressure on that five-man group. They didn't get it done, though. They missed it a really important time. They score! Man, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front, you can dictate the pace of the game. Every time I'd sit in the penalty box, I'd dream for this. Come out, get a chance to score. Winnipeg's coaches look pretty active on the bench there, right? What do you hear? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. Puck scooped up by Pionk. Moves it quickly over to Stastny. Stopped by the goaltender. Assisted by number 17, Adam. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 30 seconds. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Winnipeg's got it, and they're on the attack. Not able to connect. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Vancouver's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck off the draw. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Jets have it against the wall. He scores! Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Simple stop by Hellebuck. Holtby's made his way quickly to the bench and the extra attacker is now out on the ice. And there's the final horn putting a bow on this one here this evening. Now down 2-1.
2-0. Time to hit the panic button in your mind yet? Oh, you're getting there. You're down two. There's not much room for any air left. They had the air pushed out of them tonight. I guess there's a lot of different organizations that can take credit for how this grassroots movement started, but I love the post-game tip of the cap here. Well, I think any team that doesn't do it now would look like they're missing the boat. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.